Hello everyone, my name is Loco and we just found ourselves on the battlefield of eternity. Now, I was gonna pick reconstitution, but since I wasn't really paying attention, I just clicked back to the screen when the uh, when the game loaded up. I accidentally went for the corpse feeders. Oh well, oh well, <laughs> we'll just go with it. We'll, we'll make what we got, right? Anyways, we find ourselves on the battlefield of eternity, the newest battleground in Heroes of the Storm, part of the eternal conflict. Very fun little map, actually. Um, and today we're gonna be playing my favorite and least played hero. Okay, I really enjoy playing Zagara, but for whatever reason, I don't really play her nearly as often as I should. She's sort of like a gas load to me, uh, where I'm actually, I feel like I'm pretty reasonable with it. It just somehow, some way, never turns out to- oh my god. <laughs> Uh, all of a sudden we saw an ancient spear go ahead, um, but but for whatever reason I, I usually end up not playing her very often And I'm not completely certain why that is uh, But today I figured you know since we got some some quality of life changes recently. Uh, we're gonna change that up So I did get uh, gas or um, what's his name? Abathur to help me out a little bit right there as you can see we did get symbioted by him uh, But this is all good. This is all looking fine so far so usually you would go with Reconstitution. Reason for Reconstitution is for the simple fact that you will consistently and constantly heal up throughout the entire game. Um, now this is not an awful choice, but I would have I would have much rather gone with the uh, with the Reconstitution right here. This means that I can push a lot easier. I think we're gonna go with a bit of a different talent right now at level seven as well than I had originally planned. But we'll go over that in a second. So what is Zagara all about? Zagara is obviously the brute mother from uh, from Starcraft, and she's extremely powerful in laning. But later on into the game, she can also be one of the best... Um, oh, she's going down. Oh, certainly just barely got the heal off there. Uh, but she can easily also be one of the absolute strongest damage dealers in the game. And that's what I'm gonna try and play her as. Um, later on into the game, especially like after level 16 or so, we will get a lot of use out of, you know, 1v1 duels and all that sort of stuff, but the Immortals are currently spawning. Now, this is the new map. For anyone who is not aware how it works, basically, the Immortals spawn, and at that point, we need to start fighting and kill the opponent's Immortal and defend our own. So, I don't know exactly what the, the common scenario is yet. I think we want to try and defend our own first and foremost and go from there. I guess I'll roll a couple of Banelings in, get a little bit of damage done. That's the Butcher right there. Nothing too worrisome, because I will be able to kill you like that. Good job. Well, not just me, though. It was pretty much a team effort right there. Don't want to be taking all of the pride there. Now, spawn time is obviously extremely low for the moment. So this is always a little tricky. Like, this is where this map is kind of awkward, because people are so quickly still responding. Uh, or respawning, rather. It's, it's difficult to do some damage. But I'm going to try and deal a little bit to them, just to get that advantage. They will switch position once the Immortal hits 50%, then whoever kills the enemy's Immortal first will get their own Immortal in one of the two lanes. So that's a basic understanding of this map. I'm trying to creep up the entire area right now. I've not actually played Zagara yet on this map before. Can I get some help? No, we're just gonna let uh, let, let Loco die. Okay. Well, that's... I, I don't agree with that. Ooh. Guess everyone is busy, though. Oh, no. Ooh. Okay, did get a kill right there. Uh, I'm gonna drink from the fountain, don't really want to be heading back. Uh, I'm gonna be going with... I was gonna go with the Envenomed Spines. Alright, we'll still go for it. We'll still go for the Envenomed Spines. We have to be careful though, because they're actually attacking our Golem, or our Immortal right now. So, we should probably be heading over there. We should be, we should be defending, guys. Defending is much smarter here. Alright, so it's not at 50% yet. Oh, there we go. It is at 50% right now. They're fighting in the middle. We'll go over the abilities that I got in a second, by the way, after this first Immortal spawned. Or, like, it's gone, I suppose. This is looking... this is looking alright-ish, though. We need to try and, like, do as much damage to it as possible right now, but I'm very low in health and I don't have any manas. Alright. The Invented Spines will basically give me more, you know, auto attack or, like, basic attack damage, by the way. Which is the second talent we took. Oh, we want to try and deal some damage here. Obviously, the first immortal is not like crucial. They are respawning right now. We're way overextended. Okay, so if they have decided to actually start healing the, or start walking forward themselves or defending themselves, um, we're slightly behind still, but it's not that big of a deal. There, Sonya is playing much too aggressive, and we do manage to pick her off right there. That's very nice. Butcher, butcher, butcher. Oh, sadly, he does get healing right there. Alright. Using my Hydra once again. 
And I think I think she will fall. Not sure why, by the way, he's on a on a range character. Seems like a bit of a risk. Okay, battle swag, you're going down. Good. And we can actually try and push it back right now. We can actually try and push it back. I think Sonya is back up, but oh, nice! That kill right there was huge. That kill right there was huge. I'm gonna move forward a little bit, just so that um, Abathur can start helping out here as well. And Abathur is dealing a lot of damage now too. Nice! This is looking quite all right. I think we're actually managing to take this one back. We are level up right now, which is statistics only. Oh god, this is not good. I'm overextended. Oh god, no, I am gonna go down, I think. Oh no! Oh, nice! <laughs> Just barely getting the shield back. Oof. I do need to drink from the fountain once more, though. Going from the fountain. And this is what this map is all like, by the way. It's constant aggression. All game long, and it's really fun. It is really fun. Okay, he's overextending. They are attacking our immortal right now, but we're not gonna let them. We're not gonna let them. I'm gonna start defending here. Obviously, Immortal will be helping out here as well. Oh no, that's that's too aggressive by you, sir. You cannot do this against me. I got an Abathur on my face. Have you not seen him? I'm sorry about this. Oh, he does get healing though. Oh, got him, got him. Their Immortal is so incredibly close. Nova's trying to kill it, but... Oh, we got it! We got it first! <laughs> all right, all right, we gotta go back. Whew, this is a pretty sick game so far. We're gonna go for the Rapid Incubation right now because we... We are sort of lacking a dedicated healer, but anyways. Um, what this hero is all about is laning, mostly. But this is looking quite alright so far. We're dishing the top amount of damage easily, and we will be able to deal a crazy amount of... Um, okay, who's going bot, by the way? Someone's going bot. Alright. Um, but we're also dishing out a, a relatively big amount of, uh, of siege damage, so that's what's nice. Likely what will happen at some point is that not all people will go for the Immortals anymore. Um, like in the competitive games and whatnot, but that like only, you know, three players will go for the Immortals instead. And two others were like eating away at the experience in the other lanes. Well, the first Immortal already went down right there. Tyrande falling as well. I do still have my own, you know, my own basic heal. Anyways, the abilities that I got, because I don't think there's gonna be a, a calm moment or a calmer moment than this one right here in the game. I wish, by the way, that we had some... Uh, Freaking XP from the bottom lane. Anyways, uh, so the Q ability. Q ability is this bunch of Bane links that roll forward and that make it pretty fun to be playing this guy. Uh, you can dish out a lot of damage with it, but mostly it is very useful like cleaning up creep waves and dishing out splash damage like that. W ability that I got, I try and activate that every now and then when I see an enemy hero. And it is the one ability that deals by far the most damage, okay? It deals by far the most damage to a single target, and later on we will get two of those charges, which basically means that we're one of the strongest duel or strongest duelists in the game. And we got the E ability. Um, the E ability basically throws like these roach links from the sky, and this is the Hydra, by the way, as well, that you can see right there. Um, and it dishes out a lot of single target damage, it's great at killing towers as well. Just trying to push the team right now to level 10, but this is looking awesome. Um, now constantly I'm putting down these creep tumors as well, normally they would give me healing, and normally I would also get the endless creep at level 7. Um, by the way, we went for the rapid incubation right there, just to get that extra healing going. Um, but normally, you know, we would do it a little bit differently. But this is all fine, so you can see the Hydra right there just chasing away our enemies, and... I think we should be able to hit level 10 here before this happens. This is huge, actually. We're gonna go for the Devouring Maul. Next Immortals should be easily in our favor. Easily in our favor. Like, they will be able to defend, obviously, right? Okay. Let's go! Gonna spread some creep forward. Already using my, uh, my Hydra there. The cooldown on it is relatively long, but yeah, we will be able to easily out-damage them here. Like, there's no way they will be able to race us. At least, I don't think at least there is. Well, they're doing okay so far. It will force the damage or the engagement uh, once we hit 50% on one of them. At which point they're gonna change position, so you can never, like, you know, nuke it down from full. He actually used his Archon right there. He should have waited with that until the second wave. Much too, uh, much too aggressive. The cooldown on Archon is still pretty high. Okay, so right now they're gonna go to the middle. And this is where the fight will happen, I suppose. Gonna use my Devouring Maul right there to make sure that uh, Tyrande will be able to get out of there. Gonna roll in my Bane Links to dish out maximum amount of splash damage. We're very low in health, though, which is not what we're looking for. And I'm doing my rapid incubation right here, make sure I get my health back. And we're gonna start trying to push forward once again. 
Well, this is looking, you know, not the greatest for us. I mean, considering we've got our heroics, this should have been very straightforward, but we still will be able to pick it up right there, I think. Okay, so the self view is pretty huge, actually, on this map. I think the Rapid Incubation may be better than um, the Endless Creep on this tier, anyway. We're doing so much damage here, though. Nice. Okay. I think that's it. Wow, he actually went for the extra Ancient Spear range, didn't she? Pretty sure. Okay. So, Abathur will be able to clean that up. And it's gonna go towards the bottom lane, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, okay. Just just back, just back. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually go to the bottom lane as well before backing myself. I should probably go to the opposite lane actually, just to, you know, dish out the extra damage there, but considering they're still not level 10, and then I will have my heroic self cooldown in a little bit, we will be able to push very hard right here. Okay. Butcher actually is not being played by anyone right now, and he will be able to go down immediately. This is an AI right there that was playing him. And you know, just a couple of auto attacks. It, it It's very annoying for my opponents. Desadar did end up falling for our team as well in the top lane, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm just gonna keep pushing here. I do have Nova to back me up, pushing my creep forward as far as possible as well, so we can, you know, move back a little bit faster too. I have to be careful right now though. They're about to hit level 10 and I don't really want to be here. Alright. Gonna go towards the top lane right now. <clears throat> this is too risky for us. I mean, I won't be able to survive that. I'm gonna go push the top lane instead. This is looking very nice so far though. I bet they're actually doing a lot of work as well in this game, it feels like. Alright, next item we're gonna go for. We could go for either Groove Spines or Mutalisk. Considering there's a lot of clumping up on this map, I think that the Mutalisk may be more useful. Considering like everyone's hovering around the same area for much longer, the extra duration as well can be quite, quite useful. So we're gonna give that a try. Normally you would go with the Groove Spines on most other maps. Uh, but this one will actually do some increased splash damage and whatnot. So right now we have a Mutalisk, as you can see right there. I can use my ult here, if we need to. Okay, gonna activate it. Did get two of them. Gonna roll my Banelings in. Oh, <laughs> the Wombo combo! <laughs> that was awesome! That was really cool. Alright, and we're gonna push this lane in as well. This is looking amazing so far. So, like I said, you know, I seem to always have very solid games when I play Zagara. Not because she's, like, a player incredibly or something, but it's just, like, it's a very powerful hero. And when left alone, she can dish out so incredibly much. Oh, well, we're gonna have to move over here. Oh, almost got her. Almost. Alright. Yeah, just back. I'm not a big fan of this scenario here, guys. I mean, I'm not really hitting the correct person here, but Sonya is constantly overextending, and yeah. Guess that's fine then. Immortals will be spawning. I'm grabbing some mana. Get to the Immortals. We won't be able to kill a keep here anyway, and the boss is still going to town there. Well, we got a keep obviously right there, but in the middle there is none. Alright. Alright, we're gonna be killing this guy. We're level 11 right now, or level 15 against level 11. This is nice. And we actually have Abathur sitting right here at the Bruiser camp, interestingly enough. I don't know if that's a great position for him, but... Yeah, there's no way that we'll be able to take this out, though. Let's be honest now. Like, we're just dishing out so much more damage than them. I'm just going to town over here. Maybe I should join the team fight. Okay, well, there's already, it's already gone. It's almost at 50% anyway. So I'll just push it forward. Spreading creep over here is tough. You need to know exactly where um, where the um, the AoE spots are gonna be, I suppose. Moving forward a little bit, because Mr. Abathur is on me. And it's gonna go to the middle lane right now. Look at a sick animation as well. It's so cool. Oh, god, I'm stuck. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. He's spreading the creep. And the Butcher is trying to dish the damage right now, but it is by no means gonna happen. Like, by no means is that gonna happen. Level 16 here, very shortly. We're gonna go for the Brood Expansion. Brood Expansion, very useful. Gonna give me two Hydras. 
where my W I can now use twice, obviously still costing me mana, but just the, the sheer amount of damage that that deals to a single target is insane, and this is, this is where Zagara is her strongest, like at this moment in the game. Okay, we got that easily. Gotta go towards the bot lane here. That's, uh, wait, what's it called? The, uh, the Immortal is actually gonna walk very quickly, like at first it has a shield, and it is gonna easily, like, move to the bottom lane. Wow, they're actually fighting. I don't think we should be fighting there. Should I go over? Maybe I should. I didn't think they would be fighting like that. Well, if they let the Immortal go, I suppose that's fine as well then, right? Going in, boys. Okay, using the double Hydra right there. Okay. Got Lily. Got the Butcher. Got Asmodan. We can start pushing core. We can start pushing core right here at level 17. Well, almost 17, that is. So this is looking amazing. Very, very nice game so far. 23 and 0, 35,000 siege damage, which is actually the highest in this game, as well as the highest amounts of hero damage. I mean, it's not really a good measure of skill, but I mean, you know, I can't complain. I can't complain here. So we're gonna start hitting the core. Core will immediately start falling. We have another five seconds here, uh, but this is looking amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely want to be playing more Sagara because she is awesome. We managed to squeeze out the victory. If you haven't already, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. We got so many legendaries. I want to thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day. Don't forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!